the numbers. Number 12, C.R. Parchment, tip off. Number three, Agat McKeer. Number 10, Sayan Matthew. And right off the bat, no roll, rebound, Team Gray. Ball pushed up. That's Matthew, Cyan Matthew on block from behind, Kiara Gregory. So good start to the game. Great crowd in the building so far. Shout out to my guy, Director Huss, in the building. Turnover. It's Denia Prawl. Pushes the ball up. A lot of hype surrounding Denia. Corner three, Ava Porter off the back of the rim. Team Gray. And that's going to be a travel call against Jasmine Bosco. So in doing my pregame notes, out, shout out to my guy Handel Kip. He's part of the Women's BioSteel Selection Committee. Helped me out with some of the info. Not a lot of info on the young ladies. These are grade 9 and 10 girls, so there's not a ton on Google or that sort of stuff. So I had to dig in, made a few phone calls, try to find out what info possible. So we're doing the NCAA times here so two 20 minute halves we're not doing the four quarters like you would see in a regular season game it's the FIBA rules in and out can't go so deny a prawl can't hit that one team gray trying to get these guys the ladies off the snide excuse me And lovely looper can't get, and McKeer, first basket of the game, I got McKeer. Denia Prawl playing the point. Porter thought about the three. She's got Prawl wide open, but throws up a tough shot. And Team Black not off the snide yet. McGear, McKeer pushes it up. And a wide open lay and missed. Let's say Ann Matthew. Porter for three. Too much on that one. Ball's going to roll out of bounds. 18-23 to go. Young ladies getting the nerves out here in the first couple minutes. It's Jasmine Bosco playing the point for Gray. Leaves it for Michaela James. And that shot's blocked underneath McKeer. Wide open look, take it. Off the rim, knocked out of bounds. Going to be gray ball. So five seconds left on the shot clock. Some Kodak Black bumping in the back. So quick shot, someone's got to run. Bosco. Puts it up, and there it is, finally. Bosco, as the shot clock expires. Team Black not off the snide yet. That's going to be a kick ball. Should still be Team Black ball. So in an exhibition game, like, there's no set play. So when you see the inbounds and stuff like that, it's just kind of a lot of pickup, street ball. Figure it out on your own. Prawl. Denia, you can see the handle she's got. Fadeaway jumper, too short on that attempt, but saved. And it's going to be over and back. They don't call it. Porter had a wide open look. And Team Black can't get out to Snide yet. We're going to have possession arrow. As Porter and CR Parchment were wrestling with it. It's going to be Team Gray Ball. 17-27. That's stolen. Team Black. It's Kiana Fox. Denia Prawl. Too much. She had the shot. And finally, Porter with the first basket of the game for Team Black. Now they can settle down. 4-2. Team Gray leads. Bit anxious on that shot. Porter 
The rim, you know, already impressed with Porter's game. As soon as she sees that basket, she's putting it up. Shooter's got to shoot. We're going to see our first substitution of the game. Coming in for Team Gray is Kamara Polidor. It's at a Notre Dame High School. Long three attempt. And I think she called glass on that one. That's Kiara Gregory. Big three for Team Black. They've got the lead now. And now Gregory's got the ball in her hand. That was deep range from Gregory. Prawl. Crazy handle she's got. Gregory back to back, why not? Oh, ho, ho. Swish. Kiara Gregory. And that pass a little ambitious. So back to back threes, Kiara Gregory. So Kiara, a class of 2025 from Crestwood Prep. So Crestwood, over the past couple of years, has pumped out some of the best women's players in the country. Look no further than Aaliyah Edwards, still playing in the final four for UConn. Well, shout out to Aaliyah and her mom, Jackie, if they're out there watching. Turn around, off the back of the rim, McKeer with the rebound. Tempo picking up, that's gotta be a foul. Ref's letting him play. And now finally, the foul called. That was Kamara Polidor. She took a pretty good shot. So Kamara, also plays for Oakville Fitus and Jewel, Canada Elite. I was looking up some videos of her on YouTube the other day and doing my game notes, and there's videos of her from when she was like nine years old with like crazy ball handling drills. So this is, you know, her success being in this BioSteel Futures game has been several years in the making. No surprise to those around her. Substitutions. So Chantel Stewart seeing her first action. Number five. Anastasia Veljevic. She's fouled. Number 10. So Anastasia Excel Hoops. From Brampton. Also plays for Kia Nurse Elite. She was injured earlier this season, just getting back into form. Hits the first. So Team Black, 9-5 lead, 15-29 to go in the first quarter. 1-2. Ciara Parchment handles for Gray. Kick out. Three attempt is short and the follow, no good. Michaela Williams couldn't get that to go. McKeer kicks it back in. Shot clock reset, so plenty of time. Parchment off the back of the rim. So Gray dominating the board so far. Gray's got a bit more length, it looks like. We're seeing Black. Couple guards showing out already. Veljevic. Wide open look. Patricio, baseline jumper. Air ball in the follow. Anastasia Veljevic. Or Veljovic, excuse me. I had her pronounce it for me three times before the game. 11 5 and dominant. What a block. It's Chloe Collin. Knocks that out of bounds. It'll still be Team Gray ball. No foul on the play. 
Looks like she got all ball on that. Alas, I am not going to criticize referees in, a, in an exhibition game. <laughs> they get enough of me when I'm up here calling Orangeville prep games. So Chantel Stewart at the line. Much in class of 2024 from Crestwood Prep. Also plays for Canada Elite. Turnover. Long three, short. It was Kyla Fowler missed on that attempt for Team Black. Three attempt, look good, doesn't go. Maya Fawes underneath, corner three. Ladies battling under the hoop. It was Fawes again. And Patricio for Team Black kicks ahead to Veljevic. Ladies wrestling, Anastasia Veljevic. 13-16 black. So Anastasia lively here in the first couple minutes. You know, you can see ladies, some of the ladies with nerves, some of them already comfortable. Anastasia looks in mid-game form already. Quick trigger, unlucky not for that not to go. And there's Veljevic with the rebound. So really impressed with Anastasia in the first couple of minutes. Oh, oh, oh. everything but the finish from Taylor Williams. Maya Fawz. Little contact, no foul calls. But Team Gray needed that. 13-8. And Sierra Patricio fouled. But it's not gonna, it's not gonna be a shooting foul. So Black will inbound. Chloe Collin. Wow. Collin, baseline fadeaway jumper. It was a tough shot. It was behind the hoop. And finally, Taylor Williams puts that away for Team Black. 15-8. Foul call, it's gonna be, who's that against? Looks like it's against Kyla Fowler. Not a shooting foul. Taya Steinhauer inbounds. We'll get to Taya shortly. Foz. And she had Steinhauer breaking to the hoop, but didn't get it to her. And shot clock was expiring. Veljevic rebounds. So Anastasia playing on a different level than many of the other ladies here in the first couple minutes. Corner three, Taylor Williams. Well, Taylor out of Markham Prep. Also known as Bill Crothers. Scooped. Look all ball, but a foul called against Team Black. It's called against Kyla Fowler. Gray shooting a couple free throws. Missed the first. One or two. That's Michaela Williams hitting a couple free throws. Looks like. Can't see her number on a jersey. She's got it tucked in. And then her braid on the back. Sorry, that's eight. That's Kamara Polidor, forgive me. Corner three, Steinhauer. Oh, it was a long two. Didn't go regardless. Veljevic gets it past half court. 
Anastasia. Everything but the finish. So Gray's got numbers, got to recognize. No good. Veljevic, pump fake, and she's getting mugged. Not a shooting foul, I don't believe. It was done before the act of shooting. Maya Foz with the foul. Her sister, Kiana Foz, number zero on Team Black. Colin will inbound underneath the hoop. Almost stolen. Sierra Patricio off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound, Sierra Parchment. Team Gray on the move. No go. Could have been a double dribble. They're still fighting for it now. Possession arrow is going to favor Team Black. So a bit of a break, but no turnover. Team Black doubling up on Gray right now. 18-9. Ten minutes, almost ten minutes done in the first quarter. Good atmosphere in the gym. The boys team for the main BioSteel game. Sitting behind the scorer's table as well as all the ladies. And now mass substitutions. So he's speaking about this. You know, I was watching the March Madness, and St. Peter's obviously made their magical run to the Elite Eight, knocking off Kentucky and going all the way in crazy. And their head coach, Shaheen Holloway, who's now been named Seton Hall's head coach, but he would make five substitutions at a time in NCAA tournament games, and the announcer's freaking out. But, hey, it obviously seemed to work. It kept their legs fresh. Keeps the intensity up as well. And another possession arrow. How can it favor Team Black twice in a row? The last you know, Gray will inbound underneath. Parchment. Bosco. Ooh, finally. Sierra Parchment for three. 18-12. Team Black trying to respond in and out. No good. Denia Prawl for Team Black. Denia with that fadeaway. Very Kobe-esque. Love it. Good ball movement from Black. And Gregory, my goodness. Kiara Gregory, three threes in the first half. Hey, if you're Team Black every time down, just feed Gregory. A response from Gray. Looks like Michaela James. Gregory again, three threes already. Your early leader for the MVP. And one. That's Mildred Dubois, first basket of the game. So Mildred from Excel Hoops also plays for Oakville Vitus and Kia Nurse Elite. It's a grade nine student. That's Kiana Fawz for Team Black. 25-14. Team Black dominant, mainly led by three threes from Gregory. Kiara's torching him. Contact foul. Jasmine Bosco is going to get called with that. She was going for the steal, inadvertently tripped one of the Team Black players. 8.38 to go. I mentioned if you are out there, Watching on YouTube Streamland, hit me up on Twitter. Any issues or concerns? At Mr. McKee, M R M C K E E. Lovely little floater, Kiana Fawz. So Kiana's starting to heat up.
Parchment. She hit a big three last time down for Team Gray. And again, Ava Porter's been involved in, I think, three possession arrow balls, wrestling it away. So the hustle's still there, even though it is an exhibition game. Time on the floor. Well, thanks for joining us here at the Athlete Institute, Monaco, Ontario, home of Orangeville Prep. And obviously, great to be back in this gym for BioSteel Weekend. The last time we were here was 2019. The 2020 games, it was a week before they were scheduled to take place. But the world was placed on pause. And now we're back to it. Feels good. Life returning to normal in many aspects. Of course, while you're at it, don't forget, follow BioSteel All Canadian on Instagram as well as on Twitter. I believe they have a Facebook for those that still use Facebook. Stay up to date in all things BioSteel, especially this weekend. They usually post all sorts of you know behind the scenes stuff on the BioSteels. So Team Black leads 27-14. I was chatting with some of the assistant coaches before the game, Jasmine James. She's with Team Gray. Played her college ball at Memphis and played a little pro in Ireland as well as Mexico. She's been down coaching AAU in Texas. Now back home in Ontario coaching. And that's going to be an over and back. So out of the timeout, you don't want a turnover. But alas, you team black ball. Porter will inbound. <laughs> I was chatting with Ava before because I was trying to get, make sure everyone's pronunciation, any info about the girls. And I was having a hard time getting what intersection even Ava Porter. I said, you from Toronto, whereabouts? She says, I don't know. <laughs> Eventually got Wilson and Avenue Road area, so we got there. <laughs> I have a teenage son myself, first year university student. So I know sometimes you gotta, it's like pulling teeth to get answers out of some of the kids, but hey. <laughs> Prawl saves it, but looks like she touched out of bounds as she was going out of bounds. Denia Prawl, number seven in black, just a grade nine. So most of these ladies, grade nine or 10. Too much on that attempt. It's Michaela James, too strong. Gregory, and she's fouled. That's actually not a bad foul because if Gregory gets by her, she's got Dubois underneath the basket wide open. Prawl. Spin move. Deny a prawl. That's delicious. What a move. Turnover. Team Black's got numbers. Prawl being unselfish and clever of Gregory just to keep that in. Walking the tightrope. DMX going in the back, RIP DMX. And Sierra Parchment, little baseline jumper. So Sierra from Whitby, the Donald A. Wilson up on Rossland. I know the school well because I played soccer in the Whitby Soccer Dome directly next to it. Denia Prawl. What a handle, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> A little bit too much mustard on that one, but hey, that's what these games are for. Feet inside. Hopefully finish. Say Ann Matthew. Great feed from Kamara Polidor leading into that. Dubois. Good battle between her and Parchment. Push it up. Got a wide open lane. Can't miss that one. So Team Gray creeping back in. 
That's Sayan Matthew, back-to-back -back buckets for Sayan. Lead down to nine. Gregory almost turned that over. Mildred Dubois and blocked by Parchment. She can't believe it, thought she got all ball. So Mildred shoot a couple free throws. Jen Mildred also at a Turner Fenton Secondary School. In Excel Hoops, class of 2025. Also a grade nine student. Can't get any free throws, but gets a rebound and then gets two the old fashioned way. Mildred Dubois. Lead back to 11 for Team Black. And then Dubois does enough to distract that shot. Denia Prawl. Prawl directing traffic, trying to get. Everyone cleared out the way, I thought. Take on the defender, but no. Gregory. Tipped out of bounds. Still going to be black ball. 5.16 to go. More mass substitutions. Five for five. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, let's not make this too complicated. Let's get the girls in and out, make sure everyone gets a run. Colin will inbound underneath. Anastasia had it knocked out, and time expires. So the subs coming in, not aware that the shot clock was down. And Veljovic messing around with it too much. Team gray ball. And it looks like Colin got a block on that, got a finger on it. Michaela James was driving. Michaela out of Kings Christian out in Oakville. Beautiful campus out there. I've called a couple of games out there. Oh, lovely. Kamara Polidor for Team Gray. Patricio leaves it for Veljevic. She's got a wide open look. Too much. And that's Michaela James scoops it up. A bit of an ambitious pass, and it's a turnover. 31-22, to go. Anastasia and gets her own rebound or gets her own turnover and puts it away. Anastasia Veljevic. She's been shot between her and Gregory, two best players in black so far. And then there's a block from Veljevic, both ends of the floor. Colin, oh, ho, ho, ho. clever Chloe Colin, faked the pass and then just scooted by everyone in gray. Nice finish. Polidor. Feet inside, no good. Michaela Williams missed on that attempt, kick ball. Bosco kicked it. Well, Jasmine Bosco, class of 2024, she's also from Kings Christian. Her brother Josh was a freshman at Bucknell this year. And little ticky-tacky foul on Chantel Stewart. So that will be a shooting foul now. Anastasia shoot a couple free throws. Mention out of Excel Hoops. 
a fairly newer program, well, at least new to the OSBA, where I've called games. I think they came in, what, 2019, just before everything shut down. Anastasia of Croatian heritage. So Croatia going to be in a group with Team Canada in the World Cup for soccer. They did a draw today. <laughs> that was on TSN. And shout out to TSN, of course. Don't forget, check out the Biosteel games at noon for the girls on Sunday on TSN. And I believe 3 p.m. is the boys game on TSN. All Team Black in the first half of 14 right now. 36-22. McKeer trying to follow. And Colin comes away with it. Kyla Fowler wisely holds thing up. Holds things up, excuse me. Sierra Patricio. Oh, clever little one-two. Sierra Patricio with the feed from Taylor Williams. That's lovely hoops right there. And Team Gray with the response. Fowler, corner three. Got a lot of the rim. But still counts for three. Kyla Fowler, 41-24. Team Black pouring it on. Michaela James driving to the hoop and fouled. So Michaela from Vaughan, Ontario, just down the road, just south on the 400 from where we are up in Mono slash Orangeville. When she plays at Markham Prep, also known as Bill Crothers. which is an amazing facility up in Unionville slash Markham. I've called a couple games, both boys and girls games, over the years at Bill Crothers and been up there for soccer many, many times. Great facility. McKeer, no good. Ball bouncing around. Veljevic comes away with it. Got away with a walk, Taylor Williams. And it's still going to be Team Black Ball. So the refs mostly keeping the whistles in their pocket, thankfully. Sierra Patricio and denied on that pass. Not over and back. Fowler. Gets it over, leaves it for Colin. Chloe gets her own rebound. Chloe looking for the foul, but no good, but it'll still be Team Black Ball. One twenty-seven to go. No one on Black moving for Colin. Finally, Taylor Williams showing her handle fade away. Team Gray in transition. And ball just ripped out of her hands. And now Team Black the other way. Williams, coast to coast, and one. Taylor Williams. So she rips the ball out of the Team Gray player's hand and then goes coast to coast, and one. Did they count the bat? No, they didn't. What? T Taylor's like, what's going on? I'm confused, too. All right, Taylor just confused his eyes. She was lining up to shoot her free throw to convert to three. Wide open look. Bosco off the glass. Jasmine Bosco. The Jasmine from Kings Christian.
And Taylor Williams back to back for Team Black. 43 27. Agat McKeer responds for Team Gray. 26 seconds left to go. There's about a four second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And a hand check foul on Taya Steinhauer. So we haven't got talked to about Taya yet. So Taya, from a family of athletes, her father Orlando, the head coach of the Hamilton Tiger Cats. But mom Gina played at Western Washington University, maybe the better athlete of the two, <laughs> even though her husband played in the CFL for about a decade. So Gina was Western Washington's female athlete of the decade for the 1990s and has 18 school records. Taya's older sister also playing in the main girls game on Sunday. Fifteen point three to go. Shot clock turned off. So Team Black can hold for the last shot if they want. Taylor Williams. It's been really impressive over the past ten minutes. Fowler. Off the glass, no good. Steinhauer. And the buzzer went a little premature, but alas, no good. So at the end of the first half, Team Black. 43-29 lead. Well, welcome back. Getting ready for the start of the second half. All Team Black in the first half, 43-29. Kiara Gregory, Gregory led with three threes. Team Gray, Ciara Parchment, couple hoops. And Kamara Polidor really impressed me from Team Gray as well. So back to it, I'm Chris McKee, 20 minutes to go. And of course, don't forget the Boys Futures game coming up at the end of this. So more, you know, my favorite part of this is the slam dunk and three-point competition Saturday night. The dunk competition, usually crazy. I did the last one back in 2019. Jacoby Neef is the winner. Jacoby now playing for the Wisconsin Badgers. Originally, Played a couple seasons at Wake Forest. But then when Danny Manning, his head coach, was fired, he transferred over to Wisconsin. It's funny because Jacoby was a key figure in that big Michigan-Wisconsin fight at the end of the season that got Jawan Howard suspended for five games. And Jacoby got a game himself for being involved in that. So, a lot of Bile Steel connections out there. Denia Prawl to Porter. And Ava rolls that one out of bounds. It's going to be Team Gray. Good atmosphere in the gym. It's always fun just being around these unbelievably talented young ladies and young men. Denia Prawl. I mean, her ball handling is as good as it gets and on cue. Denia Prawl, swish. So for a grade nine, I mean, it, my goodness, it's crazy to think where her game's gonna be by the time she's ready to head to college. So shouting with Denia before the game. She's trying to go back to back. Can't get it to go. But I was ch asking her, you know, hey, did you go to another high school before the uh, one you went to? She was like, no, I was in grade eight. So that's how young some of these players are out on the floor. And you, um, I, I can't say enough about her ball handling and you know, where she's going to be in a couple years. She reminds me, I mean, we can talk about Cheyenne Day Wilson, who's now down at Duke, who's a former BioSteel All-Canadian herself. And Cheyenne, obviously, light years ahead of everyone her age growing up and you can see she's light years ahead of most people in the ACC in her, her freshman year. I think she freshman of the year in the ACC. I know she won a couple freshman of the week awards but Denia's got the same kind of handle I saw out of Cheyenne Day Wilson and maybe even a little younger you know Denia's standing out like that so crazy to see where her game will go. 
Michaela James shooting a couple free throws. Michaela's dad, Shane, is the director of Canada Elite and the assistant GM, the Guelph Nighthawks and the CEBL. Called a number of games in the CEBL, including down at the Sleeman Centre in Guelph. Great to see what the CEBL is doing for Canadian basketball. And now a number of guys, including Xavier Moon, the two-time MVP, now playing with the Los Angeles Clippers. I know Javin Delorier, former Duke player. I think he was at Niagara with uh, the River Lions and then got back to the NBA. And I know I'm missing a couple other guys. Team Black underneath the hoop will inbound. It's Kara Gregory. Those big threes in the first half. And now assist. That's Kiana Fawes for Team Black, number zero. Coast to coast. Rolls all around the rim and out. Unlucky. Gregory. Prawl will reset. Denaya. <laughs> That's step back. Back of the rim, rebound Gray. A lovely feed, tried the reverse, but Denia Prawl gets in the way. And Dubois, Mildred Dubois, nice finish for Team Black. So Mildred of Nigerian heritage. Corner three, Parchment. Sierra Parchment, swish. 49-32. So if you're Team Gray, trailing by 17, I mean, no, it's not early enough to press the panic button, but at some point, you just take the shot. You know, it's an exhibition game. Stop worrying about trying to make the perfect pass or the perfect play. Just put the ball up. So a reasonably warm April evening, April Fool's Day. I'm not one for April Fool's jokes, so you won't hear any out of me. <laughs> you haven't since I passed grade four. Oh, corner three. That's I got McKeer. McKeer out of St. Ignatius High School. So Thunder Bay, Ontario. She played in South Dakota as well before moving back to Canada. Kiara Gregory as the shot clock expires. My goodness. Kiara Gregory. Swish. How many times have I said that tonight? Gregory just torching Team Gray tonight. Four threes for Gregory. Parchment and one. Ciara Parchment. So Parchment back to back for Team Gray, and she'll try and convert the three point play. For Ciara, leads the Jewel League in both scoring and rebounding. You can see why. Outstanding athlete. She's got the size as well. She's from Whippy, Ontario. She's about mm -hmm, 30 minutes, 35 minutes east of downtown Toronto in good traffic. In bad traffic, it's about two hours. Those Toronto, familiar with the Toronto area will know. Fowler. And bodies flying everywhere. Team Black inbounds. Fowler will inbound. Kyle out of Kings Christian, class of 2025. From the free throw line, Veljevic misses on that attempt. Oh, what a feed inside. And that's Cyan Matthew 
but the feed from Michaela James. She went coast to coast. The last minute just left it for Matthew. Anastasia picked up her dribble, maybe a little soon. Colin bails her out. Chloe trips up, leaves it back. Shot clock at three, and turnover anyway. So yeah, go check out some of the highlights of the 2019 BioSteel Dunk Contest. I put them up on my YouTube. Just type in BioSteel Dunk Contest. It'll come up coast to coast. It's Team Gray responding. Oh, feed in wide open lane. Taya Steinhauer. Chantel Stewart with the previous basket. She had the steal and the assist on that one. Veljevic and denied by Parchman. So Sierra getting it done on both ends. Lead down to 10. That would have been big if they could cut it to seven. And now Parchman diving on the floor. Look at this. Who says it's an all-star game? Sierra Parchman. Diving for balls like it's an NCAA tournament game. Love to see it. So a lead has been trimmed significantly down to eight. 52-44, the scoreboard just caught up. So I have a bit of a hectic couple hours. I'm here tonight so probably about 11-ish doing the boys game. And then you can hear me on the radio tomorrow morning starting at 6 a.m., which means I'm up at about 4.45. I'll be doing News Talk 1010 traffic uh, and about four or five other stations. I don't even know because I don't normally do the 6 a.m. shift. I normally do the afternoon, but I had to switch with someone in order to do the dunk contest and the three-point contest. Back to it. Lead down to eight. Team Gray chipping away. And we got a ball game, folks. Oh, what a look. Veljevic and then no finish from Williams. Lead was 17 at one point. Now down to eight. And that could be a travel. Looks like she slipped, but they're calling a foul. Chantel Stewart will shoot some free throws. So Chantel, over the past couple minutes, huge for Team Gray to help them dig out of that hole. Chantel, Crestwood prep player, also with Canada Elite. Class of 2024. So foul call, Team Gray, Taya Steinhauer. Anastasia Veljevic. And Sierra Parchment defense, just too much. The pass ahead, too much as well. Steinhauer runs out of real estate. 13.32 to go. Love the energy from the ladies, all the nerves gone now. Now they're just balling. Williams, what's the call, is it a foul? It is. Are we shooting? We're not shooting, it's just an inbound. Veljevic will inbound.
Collin. It was a tough pass for Patricio. Wasn't quite ready for it. Steinhauer, coast to coast, gets the roll. Tia Steinhauer. Valjevic looking for help. Collin. Leaves it for Williams. Looks good. Lovely. Taylor Williams rolled around every bit of the rim. Drops in for three. Steinhauer wide open. Look long to Collin. Finds Williams wide open. Collin for three. No good. Collin looking for a slap on her hand to the ref. But not getting that in this game. Mass substitutions again. Second unit coming out. Which is actually the first unit that started, but... I like that idea in a game like this. Two teams of five almost where... Those five get used to playing with each other all evening. Good effort, but can't go. Denia Prawl in transition for Team Black, and Parchman blocks it again. Coast to coast, easy lay-in, Jasmine Bosco. Bosco, one of the top guards in the class of 2024. CY right there. Yeah, a bit of a mugging. Maya Foz. Just grabbed a hold of Kiana Foz, her sister. <laughs> so I'm sure that's happened in the driveway a few times before. 55-49, Team Gray creeping back in. They were down 17. Thank goodness, because now we can focus on the game. <laughs> Normally, anytime there's a blowout and I'm up here doing the Orangeville games, I start go getting into my top five rap, al rap albums of all time whenever there's a blowout late in the game. Top five vacation destinations, you name it. But I'd much rather call the hoops. Foz hitting free throws. So the scoreboard keeps changing on me. It's now back up to 58-49. So, <laughs> I don't know what the, oh wow, and one. So I don't know what the screen says for you guys watching at home, but in here, scoreboard's been way behind. A little frustrating, there's Bosco and one. So Jasmine, trying to convert. And cut the lead down to six. In and out. Kiara Gregory, four threes. And now she goes coast to coast and one. Kiara Gregory. Well, she's having a night, my goodness. Foul was on Bosco. And Gregory trying to convert. Can't get it to go. Looks like it's going to be gray ball. Parchment will inbound. No, nope, they're giving it to Black. Ciara looked a little disappointment, disappointed. Foz too much. Dubois, Mildred Dubois with the follow. Lead back to 11 for Team Black. So Gray makes runs, chips away at it, and then when it's needed most, Team Black. McKeer gets her own rebounds. Kiara Gregory and has it stolen. McKeer rips it out of her hands. A good hustle back from Porter because Bosco was standing wide open for a three, waving for it.
10.48 to go. And Gregory now with the defense block the feet ahead to Porter. My goodness. Now that's lovely basketball. Kiana Foz after the steal from Gregory and Juan Bosco, the response. So Kiara Gregory, my new idol, she's been outstanding for Team Black. So many impressive ladies on the court. Bosco, one of them. Too much. And Dubois with the rebound. Gregory blows by a couple defenders and is fouled. Chantel Stewart got a good chunk of Gregory's hand. Gregory, they got her listed at 5-3. But she's playing like she's 6-10, dominating. Packed house, great to see. You know, start of this season, no fans allowed for the most part in games, empty gyms, but obviously still able to watch on the live streams. Great to see. It's Gregory hitting free throws. McKeer shows her handle. And then McKeer shows her hustle. Porter comes back and steals it. Ava Porter. Denia Prawl, corner three, Gregory. My goodness. Flames coming off the ball. Kiara Gregory absolutely torching him. 5 3 so far. And I say so far because expect more to come. You know, if I'm Team Black, <laughs> just let number one put it up every time down. Let's play the analytics here. Denia Prawl showing her handle, undresses everyone, and then a possession arrow. Parchman got in the way. So Kiara Gregory, just as Team Gray starts to creep back in, Kiara Gregory having none of it. 69 55, 933 to go. So, of course, big thanks to BioSteel for being a part of this and TSN. I've got my Bile Steel juice right next to me. What am I drinking? The flavor. White Freeze. I like this. I like the pink one, but I haven't seen any of them lying around the gym just yet. So I will get to it. You know, it's always crazy to see. Usually do ton of interviews with all the players before and after the games and you know it, it's funny because you post the videos knowing well right now not, no one's really going to want to watch this no one wants to see a 15 year old but all my videos get these spikes like four years later whenever that player goes to college or to the pros and ends up taking over the world you got to have faith in the content that it'll <laughs> someone's going to watch it in a while Some DJ Snake, Lil John. I saw D DJ Snake at the uh, Echo Beach, which is part of the Molson Amphitheater, now Budweiser stage. 2014, maybe? Good show. With Skrillex after, when things were normal. Denied by Dubois. Deny a prawl. Over to Mildred Dubois trying to go coast to coast. Ball bouncing around. Gregory, take it. Come on, take it. Ah. And then Gregory off the glass. A little kiss. Kiara Gregory all night. 71-55. And the air ball response. So... If I have to pick team MVP, I don't think it's going to be too hard right now for Team Black. All Gregory. 
And if Gregory doesn't get it, I'm going to go Kanye like he did to Taylor Swift and go up on stage. <laughs> Foz for Team Gray. I'm sorry, Team Black on the other end. 73-57, Black opening it up again. Porter thought about it, and he's tripped up. Bosco not too happy about it, and I'm kind of with her because it looks like Porter almost initiated the contact, so I understand Bosco's frustration. Porter, another one of the Crestwood ladies, also plays for Kia Nurse, I Canada. Great vibes in the gym. I'm, I'm not too many celebrity spottings just yet. There usually is for the dunk contest. And then, of course, Sunday, the main games, plenty of celebrities. Usually some of the Raptors in attendance. A guy named Kyle Lowry was there last time. Well, Kyle also the brother-in-law or relative of Ramir Moore, former Biosteel All-Canadian, long three short. Ramir started out at St. Joe's and just announced his transfer to Wagner. I think that's a good move for Ramir. Suits that Wagner culture perfect. I interviewed their head coach, Bashir Mason, a couple weeks back, so I know the program well. Wagner in Staten Island, home of the Wu-Tang Clan, which I was, of course, the Wu-Tang's booking agent for over a decade, about 12 years. You can go check out my book. Yeah, I'll do a cheap book plug, a book I wrote called Life on the Road with the Wu-Tang Clan by Chris McKee, available on Amazon and Kindle. McKeer. And then, hey, gets the role. I got McKeer. Team Gray in need of some luck. 75-59. Prawl. That step back jumper she's got is, that's a thing of beauty. I mean, it didn't go, but as she begins to progress, that's going to be so tough to defend. Team Gray responding. They're digging out of it. Chantel Stewart. 75-62, Team Gray not done yet. Porter, ball bouncing around, Parchment comes up with it. Two on one for Team Gray. And Denia Prawl comes back and steals it. Prawl to Dubois, Mildred. Swish, Mildred Dubois. So Mildred having a nice night as well. When you think of, you know, the things these athletes have gone through over the past two years, Prawl, pump fake reverse underneath, deny a Prawl. Lovely. When you think of what they've gone through, you know, the, the training in empty gyms or empty courts, sneaking onto courts because some of them closed all throughout Ontario and across Canada just to stay in shape. Gregory, unselfish. And they can't finish. Kiana Foz denies Gregory of another highlight. So credit to all these ladies and coaches out there. You know, season's on, season's off. Kiara Gregory, little finger roll. Add that one to the highlight reel. Kiara Gregory. Timeout on the floor, 5.19 to go, all team black. So if you're team gray, now we're getting to it. Someone's got to start hitting some shots. Anyone out there want to put the team on their shoulder? Now's as good a time as ever. Mention if you are out there on YouTube stream watching, 
any sound problems, name issues. I'm not saying it right. Bosco for three, too much. Hit me up on Twitter, at Mr. McKee, M-R-M-C-K-E-E. -E. Make sure I get it right. Steinhauer with the putback for Team Gray. To Steinhauer's dad, the head coach of the Hamilton Tiger Cats in the CFL. Steinhauer wide open, three, take it. In a game like this, take the shot. Bosco took about seven steps, but hey, it's all good. <laughs> Sierra Patricio leaves it for Colin. Colin turns it over. Easy land. Jasmine Bosco. So I mentioned Sierra Patricio. She just got back from the Philippines. Trying out for the Philippine national team. Hopefully all went well. Kick ball from Williams. So over four minutes to go. Talked about this off the top. We're doing the 220s NCAA style just for Biosteel. <laughs> See how my guy Matthew Romero, DJ in next door. <laughs> Bumping some Wu-Tang in the back. And he couldn't even hear me talking about the Wu-Tang stuff. So that's just a well-timed drop. I got a giant steel pillar between us, so. Bosco, lovely land. So Team Gray chipping away. 335 to go. 8168. Anastasia. Leaves it for Fowler. Williams, long three. Off the front of the rim, but Veljevic picks it up. Fowler, too much. Looks like Team Black Ball hit off Bosco's foot and went out of bounds. Of course, stay tuned. Boys Futures game coming up next. Definitely want to tune into that. The three-point slam dunk contest Saturday night. And of course, tune into TSN Sunday at noon to watch the ladies game at 3 p.m to watch the men's game. And shot clock ran out. I was a little confused with that. Shot clock violates. Ah, oh, that's right, because it went off Bosco's foot, so the shot clock didn't reset. Eighty-one sixty-eight. Bosco. Long three, no good. Bodies flying everywhere. And Team Gray, they're going to try to press a little, which I like. Normally you don't see that in an exhibition game, but hey, they're down. Now you, now you want to actually play to win. Foul called on Gray. Williams will shoot some free throws. So you got Taylor Williams and Michaela Williams, both from Markham Prep slash Bill Crothers. Not related. Just a coincidence. Or as everyone's grade three teacher would say, a coinky dink. I gotta, I gotta get that out of my vocabulary. 2.36 to go. Williams. Can't hit the free throws, but Dubois down there comes away with it. And Veljevic goes to the ground hard. A gasp in the gym, but she looks all right. She's tough. She's got a smile on her face. That's one of those ones you know there's a lot more cameras than you're used to. <laughs> so... Anastasia gets up, no worse for wear. Anastasia excel hoops. 
Another one of the Kia Nurse players. I gotta go check out this Kia Nurse elite team. It seems like every superstar player is coming out of that program, so give me something to do this summer. Bosco shows her handle. Wow! Bosco in the roll. That's delicious. Jasmine Bosco lead down to 12. Wide open, Mildred Dubois can't get it to go. Gives Team Gray some life here with two minutes left. And then Veljevic denied. Excellent block. No foul. Good call from the ref. Leave the whistles in there. Anastasia just put the hand up, had position. Steinhauer will inbound. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Plenty of time for Team Gray. And that was Dubois this time knocking that out of bounds. So Chantel Stewart, she's listed. It can't be 5'8", it's got to be shorter than that. Bosco. You see she wants this herself. Kicks it out of bounds. Ooh, she got away with one. I thought that went off Bosco's leg. Bosco underneath, and she's fouled. 151 to go. Lead at 12. I'd like to see Gray to continue to press, try and create turnovers. Steinhauer inbounds to Bosco. Oh, what a pass, but the finish not there from Foz. Ball's bouncing around, and it looks like Dubois called with a foul. Some little baby, DJ Khaled in the back. Gray will inbound. You want to see a bit of urgency. Bosco coast to coast, and she's mugged by Prawl. Goes down the ground hard. But Bosco, also no worse for wear. Looks all right. She don't look happy, but physically looks all right. 128 to go. Getting to desperation time for Team Gray. And there's the turnover, Williams, and she's fouled. Taylor Williams shooting free throws. So Williams can essentially ice the game here for Team Black. She hits both of them. Which, I got to get my camera out. Some DeBaby in the background. I went to go see DeBaby December 2019. I've talked about this a hundred times during the Orangeville games. One of the last concerts before the world shut down. DeBaby down at Rebel. And Drake came on stage to do, what's the Rick Ross song? They did it together. You know, where should I even really start? I don't want to use the curse words, but I stood next to, next to Drake for about 30 minutes in the VIP before he went on stage, and there's my name drop of the day. Williams hitting free throws, leads at 14. You got to see some threes here for Team Gray. In and out. Parchment underneath. And if you're Team Black, do not foul. You got a 14 point lead with a minute four to go. Don't let the clock stop. Sayan Matthew, the free throw line. Her uncle Jelani, well-known trainer for many of the players in Ontario. Lead to 12. Your team black, milk the clock.
And there's a turnover. Quick three, press. So Team Gray wants a timeout. 53-5 to go. Awesome in-house MC. So big shout out to all the men and women involved with BioSteel Weekend selection committees, providing these amazing opportunities for the young men and women all weekend. Life-changing experience for many of them. You know, you go talk to those women now who've gone on to play, you know, high-level NCAA and pro all over the world, and they'll tell you what it means to be a part of Biostill Weekend. Some Sean Paul in the background. Sean, for those that didn't know, Sean Paul actually lived in Toronto for a little bit in the 90s. So, although he is Jamaican, he's still a Toronto guy. Shout out to Director X, formerly Little X, produced a lot of Sean Paul's amazing videos over the years. Long two, no good. So we got some Will Smith getting jiggy with it in the background. And let me tell you, I used to be the biggest Will Smith man. He's not. In <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Will Smith, man, he gets the gas face, as we'd say. <laughs> he's, he's, needless to say, he's slid down a little bit on my respect chart. Chris Rock definitely increased. <laughs> Denia Denia Prawl. Lovely finish, Denier Prawl. And that'll do a Team Black dominant. They allowed Gray to creep back in early in the second half and then put an end to that. Kiara Gregory, just outstanding. She has to be the Team Black MVP. 1.2 to go. I got to have a word with my DJ, Matthew Romero, about playing the Will Smith in here. Long three, hey, <laughs> swish. At least you got a highlight, Chantel Stewart. So that'll do it. Team Black, dominant in the win. Kiara Gregory, my goodness, outstanding.